Hey guys, it's Joe from PocketNow.com, and not long ago I showed you a really cool launcher app called Launcher Pro. Now back then it was in version 0.5 beta. Let me tell you, it's come a long way. Let's go take a look at some of the new features. Okay, this is my Android. It's a Nexus One running Android 2.2. And what I've got running here is the Launcher Pro app. Now, a Launcher app is basically everything you see here. It's all of your icons, it's the ability to have wallpaper, in this case, uh, a live wallpaper, uh, your shortcuts over here, and then your app drawer. All of that is your launcher. Now, there are lots of launchers that you can get. Just go to the marketplace and search for launcher. In fact, you should be able to find Launcher Pro available for free in the market as long as you're running Android 2. Point something or higher. Now, I don't want to go over everything that this launcher does, so I'm just going to hit on three things just to try and keep this video uh, at a reasonable length. So the first thing I want to show you is scrollable widgets. Now, you're familiar with widgets. They're informational areas of the screen. Here's a news widget that rotates through some news items. Here's a clock and weather widget that has, well, the time and the weather. And then my pure calendar widget, which if you look right here, it's got a few days worth of calendar information on it. Now, your calendar has a lot more information than just a few days, but when you combine an advanced launcher like Launcher Pro or ADW Launcher, which is just another launcher app, along with apps, or widgets rather, that are scrolling aware, you can scroll the information in your widgets. So in this case, I can scroll through a whole bunch of calendar items just at the flick of my finger without having to wait for my calendar app to open. So that's really cool, really nice. Again, you've got to have a launcher that supports it and you have to have a widget that supports it and turn on that ability in both of them. A uh, little bit complicated, but I'm sure you can figure it out. Next, I want to show you, let's scoot back over here to this screen. I want to show you my shortcut bar. In fact, let me rotate my phone up this way and uh, zoom in a bit. Now this is just basically where your uh, where your dock lives and up until recently you've had your your launcher tray if you will just a little, little grabber that you'd grab on uh, Android 1.5 and 6 and pull it up to view your app drawer. In uh, later versions you know you don't have to pull it up you just tap on it and it opens. But what you'll notice here is I've got a whole bunch of icons on either side of it, two on each side. And these icons are configurable. You can set them to be whatever you want. But what I want to show you here is I can scroll side to side and get a whole new set of shortcuts. So I can put my most frequently used apps down there and this will let me rotate all the way through or I can go side to side. It's just, it'll loop through. So that's really cool. You can add any number of stuff down here to your otherwise unused space. Now, Froyo helped to occupy that space a little bit. Over here on the sides, it had screen indicators to let you know which home screen you were on, just in case you, you got lost, because you can have a whole bunch of home screens now. So that would say, you know, there's four screens over that way, there's another two screens that way, and you're on the middle one, you know, or whatever. Well. This will let you do that as well. You can set this icon and this icon, or really any icons for that matter, to be a screen indicator just like on Froyo. But, you know, I don't like that. I know pretty much what screen I'm on, and I can always view all of my screens all at once, uh, which I showed you in my last video. So I just occupy those with frequently used things. So that's cool, and it's feature number two. Feature number three is really where this starts to shine, and it's the only launcher app that I've seen do this so far. You'll notice my Gmail icon over here has a little red one next to it, or a one in a red circle. Now what that's telling me is I have one unread Gmail item. If I had any missed phone calls, I'd have a little indicator over here telling me how many missed calls I had there. And if I were using the stock messaging app for my text messages, I could have the same thing to show me how many text messages I have waiting. Now I use Google Voice and there isn't a, uh, a shortcut icon that has that feature built in yet, though I do have a feature request put in with the developer to let me do that. So I mean, that's really neat. You can see at a glance, hey, I've got this many things of this type to look at and I can prioritize what I do. Now right now you're thinking, but Joe, we've got this entire area of the screen 
which is devoted to nothing but, you know, notifications. They, they call it a notification bar. You can grab on it and drag it down and check and see what notifications you have. And yes, you're right. But let me show you what you can do. Let's go in here to the menu. And I'm going to zoom back out a bit so we can see a little bit more of the screen here. We're going to go into the preferences. And in the preferences, we're going to go into the appearance settings. Now, first thing you'll notice is over the last version, we have a lot better organization of all of the, uh, the configuration settings. I really, really like this. Well, let's go right into it. You'll notice here we can hide the notification bar. So let's go ahead and check that and let's go back home and you'll notice now up on the top, if I can actually press the home button, I no longer have that notification bar up on top. Now, there's a lot of stuff that the dock doesn't show that was up there, but you know, there might be widgets that you have on your home screen that show you that information, that show you, you know, if you're on Wi Fi or if you're on uh, 3G or whatnot. So there's stuff that can replace that uh, if, if you've got it there, so you don't have to have redundant information, which I really like. But one other thing is I've noticed that in some of the apps that I use, I'm starting to see some burn in at the top of my screen of that notification dock because it's it's a white area with black text so it's really high contrast and I, I am just like in the old CRTs I'm starting to see some burn in you can't see it here and it's really not a big deal but if you wanted to get that that possibility of burn in just out of your mind just for peace of mind you can do something like that and of course if you decide you know I, I don't like it that way and I want it back you can go back into your preferences and unhide the notification bar and there you go it's back there for you so there are tons and tons and tons of other things that have been put into this app since I showed you the previous video but if I were to show you I and mean, we're already looking at a seven minute video here and you guys have already told me that's a long video to show you anything more we'd be looking at a really long video so I'm gonna turn you loose and let you go out to the market search for launcher pro all one word download and install it it's free so you don't have to worry about it and try it out if you like it great go ahead and start using it start exploring and tell me what your favorite new feature is that you found just put that in the comments to this video or to the the comments of the video or the, the comments of the article uh, and let me know what you think you can always switch back if you don't like it just uninstall it and you're back to your stock launcher and uh, tell me what you think. Do you like the, uh, the app? Are there things that you like that aren't included? And if so, what? And of course, if you like this kind of video, give it a thumbs up. If you aren't already subscribed to our video channel, you really owe it to yourself to do that for all kinds of reasons. Um, I'm not going to go into it because I'm out of time. And then, of course, share this with your friends on Twitter and on Facebook. If you have any questions at all, leave me comments below. I'm Joe at PocketNow.com.